There are several ways you can accept user submitted articles in WordPress. Let's check out four different options. Number one, use an external platform. The way we handle user submissions at Elegant Themes is via ClickUp. This platform includes a form users can fill out to share their contact information, the type of article they want to tackle, and more. You could also look into form hosting platforms such as Typeform or Google Forms. Additionally, many form services provide you with analytics regarding your submissions. This data can help you understand how many users you're reaching and what you can do to increase engagement. Number two, set up an internal submission form. The easiest way to do this is with a plugin. If you use Divi, you can take advantage of our contact form module. Otherwise, contact form seven and WP forms are also great options. How many fields you wanna to add to your form is up to you. To make your life easier though, we recommend you tell users exactly how to format their submissions and what your editorial guidelines are. Number three, enable users to submit posts directly through WordPress. One downside of option one and two is that you're still the one that has to add the finished drafts to WordPress. If you rather have users submit through WordPress, then you'll wanna use the user submitted post plugin. With this tool, you can publish forms that include all the information WordPress needs to create new posts. Once a user submits their article, the plugin automatically sets up a new draft or pending post. You can give users even more control by configuring user submitted posts to require registration and login. Users can then access your dashboard and edit their own work, but they cannot publish it without permission. A similar solution is to enable registration on your WordPress site and set the default role to contributor. Overall, giving users access to your dashboard isn't necessarily the most ideal situation from a security standpoint. And finally, number four, set up a form for user submissions. There are a lot of upsides to setting up a form for your WordPress blog. If you're trying to foster community, online discussions provide your visitors with the perfect place to connect. Plus, by making the pitching process public, you can enable users to work together. Although WordPress doesn't include form functionality out of the box, so you can use plugins such as BB Press to set up public or private forms. Once your forms are up, you can set up different sections for users to submit ideas. You can also have subtopics for members to talk about types of content they would like to see, their favorite existing articles, and more. And there you go. All four options are great for getting user submitted articles. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.